Now if I include this little one that we made up yesterday, we now have 18 pieces made up. I was noticing when we were looking at our close-up with the super macro yesterday of this one right here, how, how much uh, uh, debris there was on it. And um, I, I concluded that it was probably <laughs> maybe dead skin off my fingers and you know stuff like that. And I'm thinking that probably it'd be a real good idea to put these in the ultrasonic cleaner before I either paint them or glue them in place and then paint them. Try and get some of that debris off. Um, yeah, it makes sense to me. Got it. Why not use it, right? Now, I've never done this before, but I'm going to do this in two stages here. Maybe I could have done that for all of them. I'll probably fill it up about half full here. I want it to be able to slosh around. Well, for those of you who are wondering how the rabbits are doing, well, they're still kicking. Um, there's not as many this year, I don't think, as there was last year at this time. Oh, this green stuff I just put in there, that's just ordinary uh, uh, dish detergent. Just help help it to soften this, soft, this hot water that I'm going to be putting in here. Um, now... There's really not a whole lot you can see here with this. Um, isopropyl should mix with water. So I'm not too worried. I think I got them all. I don't, I don't see any more stuck in there. All right. Now, um, I sometimes wonder, uh, when I saw the young rabbits running around this spring, how many of them were a result of the carrots that I put out all last winter. In other words, how many of the rabbits made it through the winter that may not otherwise have. Anyway, let's just see here what we got. It's, uh, uh, I think it's 180 seconds. Now what is this? Looks like a little insect. At least that's what it looks like. Anyway, I found it interesting in that they had a tendency to uh, clump together. Um, so uh, periodically I would sort of separate them but then they would almost instantly go back together again. I don't know if there was some sort of static charge uh, you know, on the uh, copper 
that was causing them to sort of stick together. You don't think that copper would magnetize, but it may have had, you know, some sort of high energy type thing going on that I don't understand. Uh, one thing I'm pretty sure of, they're probably about as clean as we can get them. I'm going to look at this under the microscope. What is that? You know something? I don't need the microscope. It is a bug. I was wondering how did a little bug get in here, but then I remembered that I have this ultrasonic cleaner sitting right beside my electronic fly zapper. And I guess what well, a little uh, fly got zapped and he ended up getting hurled into this ultrasonic cleaner. I guess I didn't have the lid on. Sometimes I don't. After I, uh, after I uh, use the cleaner, I uh, rinse it out and then I don't put the lid on so it can dry properly. So that's what that is. That's, that's just a little fly. Okay. I've put them back into the isopropyl, 99%. And uh, my thinking is that will absorb the water. Alcohol absorbs water. And uh, it will also get any kind of soap residue off. Um, yeah, we'll take a good look at these tomorrow. We're running out of time today. I know it's a very short video and you haven't seen a whole lot. However, uh, I was doing other things today. So uh, thanks for watching. All being well. We'll see you tomorrow.